there is a extremely reliable way to remain motivated to keep going and not quit. And that way is the method that works for you to, to make sure that you're making regular progress, just progress. That's the one word to feel like you are a better, whatever guitar player, husband, wife, son, friend, uh, you know, business person, whatever this month, than you were last month, that is motivation because you feel like you're making progress, but how many people are going to stick with it if they take a, you know, Portuguese class and then they go to Brazil and they try and speak and they can't speak. And, you know, somebody asks them what time it is and they're already lost and they've been doing it for six months or a year. They, if they don't feel like they're making progress, they're just going to quit. Naturally, this didn't work. Right. So I always try to find the hack that will, because there isn't a, a perfect method for everyone, right? There's a, this is a Tim Ferriss quote, I believe, but he says the, the mediocre method that you stick with is infinitely better than the perfect method that you abandon. So there might be a perfect way for me to eat, but if I feel like, you know, I love food and I like flavor and I can't eat that way, even though it's perfect, eh, I give up, I'm done. So now I'm I'm at zero. Now I'm not going to improve anything. But if I but if I'm 70% of what I'm supposed to do and I stick with it, wow, I'm going to see progress, I'm going to feel it, I'm going to hear about it and that's what what essentially keeps us motivated. So that's what I try and do. There's a there's an 80/20 framework and there's all that. But it will help you believe in yourself whatever you're trying to learn how to do even if you think you're bad at it or learn how to improve even if you're already doing it. If you can find something where three or four days later you feel like you're making progress, it's you are going to continue to be motivated and you'll get better like this or maybe even like this because you'll want to spend more time on it. So I can give so many examples from different areas of life that seem unrelated but that are all you know, essentially outcomes of intrinsic motivation because we feel like we're making progress. Does that make sense? It does. And what I really appreciate about that approach is it's personalized mm. as well. <laughs> so we're not seeking perfection. Sure. And we're personalizing it. So it fits for me and my unique journey, kind of going back to that unity does not mean uniformity, mm. right? Right. We're seeking to be better together in many ways because when we feel better, when we're striving toward what fits best for us, it's still, we can be internally motivated, but do it together in a way that uplifts us together. Absolutely. And this 80-20 approach kind of helps support that. Mm. I, for me, one method may be perfect in that 80 20 approach. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that now I have to go and make you, Steve, a little mini version sure. of my perfect approach and yeah. say, well, it, it fits for me. It needs to fit for you because we're friends now. Mm -hmm. And so to support me, you have to do it the same way I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good and point. What a, that's why I think it, it isn't it isn't a one thing. It's a it's a one. I even hesitate to say this, but I think there are better and worse just frameworks for thinking about it. So even within the 80-20 principle, so just to give like the foreign language example, right? Um, there are 250,000 words in the English dictionary. So I've, I have a, a master's in business that I got while I was living and working in Japan. I communicate for a living. I've been writing a blog every week for eight years. Um, I, basically, I mean, I, I study communication, right? And I'm a native English speaker and I only use less than a thousand words. I might know more. I might understand more, but I only use a thousand words. So think about that in the context of someone that's, you know, moving to the U S or some English speaking country from China or somewhere else. And they have no, no background in English. And all they know is they got this dictionary and there's 250,000 words in it. That how daunting is that? But then they hear, if you literally know hundreds of words, the right ones for you in the context that you're going to be in, based on the people you're going to be talking to and the situations that you're going to be in and, and all of that, your persona, 
as long as they're relevant to that, what's the 80-20 of that? You, your language ability will, I mean, if, even without me explaining how to do that, how to get the right content, how to practice it, how to train it, how to make sure even people with different learning styles can do this. Um, just, just that, how much less daunting is it? <laughs>